I'm going to take so my face off. Open your portrait. Um, open another version of your portrait so you got two of the same thing. So with the magnetic, magnetic lasso tool, which is that one there, um, just trace around the outside of your head. You know, be pretty careful while you're doing it. I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't get every strand of hair because that's pretty impossible to do anyway. So then link it back up to where you first started and then use the move tool to drag it up and then down onto your other portrait. So the same portrait. And then once it's here, just press Command C, Command V, and it'll keep giving you copies of the same thing. All right, so now you've got copies that are kind of moving in this diagonal upwards motion. So, but you can't see through any of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making the top one here, the most see-through and the bottom one not see-through at all. So let's go to layer six and go to the opacity, go to like 16%, the layer underneath, make it around 30%. Layer underneath, make it 40. Layer underneath that, we'll make it 50. And then we'll leave, oh, actually this one will make 60. And then we'll leave the bottom one. So what you've got is like something that starts out completely um, solid and then it becomes more and more transparent, making these layers of eyes and stuff. So then you want to put a color over the top. So get your marquee tool, trace around the outside of your work, select layer, new fill layer, solid color, and choose the pink color you're after. And then you just want to make sure that's on the very top of everything else. So drag it up to the top of the, all the layers and then change that to like, 40% and then you're left with that. You can also add like text if you wanted to, you know, I'll just do an example. Um, use impact. And you could even do layering with that as well. So just copy and paste it. And if you change the opacity, it becomes, you know, more integrated into the work. Cool. So you're left with something like that, which is, you know, an ex kind of a completed artwork. So that is how you do that. So I've just recorded that for you.